In the 19th century, many mills were enlarged for one reason or another. Often to get the stone, nearby buildings were robbed. In the case of Giffen Mill, the stone was taken from the old castle that had fallen. Not only that, they took some of the carvings as well. So on the gable end was a rather magnificent carving of an eagle. Giffordland Mill near Dowry is a good example of the old barony mills. All that remains now is the miller's house, modernised and enlarged. A clump of old trees beside a watercourse is often a good sign of a former mill site. It's not often realised that mills didn't work all year round, that many millers have two jobs. For the grain would be ready at the harvest, would be ground over the winter, and during the summer months the wheel often wouldn't be turning. As a result, it would tend to dry out and warp, so often trees were planted to provide shade to try and prevent this from happening. Mills needed a good communication infrastructure, such as Whole House Mill, next to the Glen Logan estate not far from Sorn. Here there was once a ford crossing the River Air, as well as, st as stepping stones. And there was a network of country lanes, now all abandoned. The splash wall of a mill usually stands out. This is the wall that the water wheel moved against, with a constant movement of water, meaning it had to be the best constructed. Occasionally mills had a date stone or other carvings on their walls. At Camors, there's the miller's shovel for moving the grain, and also a thing called a rind. The rind was a, a piece of metal that was driven straight off the water wheel through the gearing and this turned the upper millstone. It was often used as a symbol of millers themselves. Most mill dams been removed because they were often regarded the mill pond behind as being too dangerous for children to swim in. Sometimes because they filled with silt, this would cause flooding in the fields. On one occasion because poachers would take fish as they went across the top. Lanechon Mill near Stewarton became well known and was often photographed as it had a, a tree growing out of its chimney. Catron Mill was famous for the size of its water wheel. Sadly, the great wheel no longer exists. It was even larger than the one that survives at New Lanark. Millers were quite well to do, and in old cemeteries, their memorials can be seen to be vying with other merchants in terms of expense and elegance.